black pepper is the most widely used spice in the United States. There's hardly a recipe that doesn't call for at least a smidgen of black gold. The sharp penetrating aroma and hot biting flavor never loses its appeal. Most spice trade historians point to pepper as the spice that changed the world. When explorers navigated new sea routes to the pepper source, they often came upon new lands. Given its continued popularity and place in world history, it's no wonder pepper is called the king of spices. Piper nigrum, pepper's botanical name, is native to southwestern India. Some of the best tasting pepper in the world grows here. It's also grown in tropical climates such as Indonesia, Vietnam, and Brazil. The pepper you flavor your food with is really the dried fruit, the peppercorn. Like most spices, pepper grows best under optimal soil and climatic conditions, which let the ingredients grow to their fullest potential and ultimately gives them their best flavor. When the dry season comes to India, it's time to pick the pepper vines that are full of mature peppercorns. It's a labor-intensive process, as there are no machines that can pick the peppercorn berries. Once harvested, the peppercorn berries are spread out on mats in front of the farmer's house to sun dry. During this drying process, lasting seven to 10 days, the berries are turned frequently and are brought inside every night for safekeeping. When berries are fully dried and have turned from green to black, they are stored until the farmer is ready to sell them. Pepper vines can produce not one, but three different spices, depending on the maturity of the pepper berry, when it's picked, and how it's dried. The result is green, black, or white pepper. Green pepper is produced when farmers pick the immature green peppercorns from the vine, then place them into saltwater brine. This process keeps the color intact, so it can be sent to market as green pepper. The third spice from Piper nigrum, white pepper, is created when farmers pick fully mature peppercorns from the vine and submerge them in water in a nearby pond for two weeks. The outer skin of the pepperberry breaks away and is rinsed off. What remains is the white pulp of the pepperberry. Farmers bring their pepper to a collection village where it is visually analyzed for quality and sold into the local market. In India, it's estimated that 150,000 farmers produce 50,000 metric tons of pepper a year. After the peppercorns travel across the ocean, they arrive in our Hunt Valley, Maryland spice mill. Here, they undergo a carefully monitored cleansing process that separates and eliminates any impurities. The pepper is then prepared as ground pepper or bottled as whole peppercorns. The flow of ground pepper at our processing plants seems to be endless. But you have to remember that our pepper is also mixed with other herbs and spices to make a multitude of McCormick flavor blends. Pure ground pepper is typically canned in our traditional red and white tins. Covered, boxed, and stacked. And only then is pepper ready for its final destination on the spice trail, your home. <laughs>